Hey guys, Wild Kyle here. I am in beautiful southern Georgia again. I was visiting some family last night and I figured on my way back down to Florida, why not stop at the river and try to find some really cool treasure. At this site, you've seen us find petrified wood and you've seen shark teeth and things like that. But today I want to actually focus on finding old bottles and relics from the late 1800s. I found bottles from the late 1800s here before and I've also found some other cool old things as well. I actually don't have a kayak or a canoe today, so I'm going completely by foot. I've got all my gear in my backpack here. And we're going to walk on down the river and see what we can find. Let's get to it. So today I'm not going to be doing any digging and sifting. I'm actually going to be mostly walking the banks and walking in the riverbed looking for old bottles and relics and things like that. So this little spot right here looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Check it out. Right here I'm seeing an old bottle up on the bank. I don't know if this thing is super old, but it's pretty cool. It says water on it. <laughs> okay, very interesting. Let's get this thing cleaned off. Mm, yes. Whee! All right, got this thing all cleaned off. It definitely says water down the side. There's some measurements on the side there. And on this side, it says U-I-C-F. Pretty dang weird. I don't know if I've ever seen a jar specifically for water, but that's actually pretty cool. I have no idea how old this could be, but definitely going to do some research. And let me know in the comments below if you guys have any ideas on the age of this kind of thing. Seen the rim of something weird right here, so... It's, what the heck? It's a bowl! Yay! Let's wash that off and see what it is. Well, that was a bowl with a sleigh rider on it. And a little house and some trees, a little like Christmas bowl. <laughs> a funny little find nonetheless. Hey little horsey! Nay nay! Help me! <laughs> Look how far I'm sinking! Ah! Oh, <laughs> my gosh! I'm sinking into sand! We got quicksand! Coming up on an old bottle right there. Looks like I'm not sure anymore because there's no label on it. Interesting, but we'll take it and get it out of the river. Oh, look at this thing. This looks pretty cool right here. This guy looks like it could be older. What does that say? It says Bar... Barclays. What? That's actually really cool. Oh, it says some more stuff on it. Let's get this thing washed off. All right, got this bottle all cleaned off. It says Barclays on both sides of it, right there. This side it says one pint, and then right there it says federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle. Not really exactly sure what this was for, but it's pretty dang cool. Ew, look at that. So there's definitely much more than just cool old relics and stuff around here. This right here is cross stratified clay around 12 to 14 million years old middle Miocene and this is deposited in a near shore environment and look at all of the fresh water coming out that is really really cool this right here is the kind of stuff you got to be careful walking around in because there could be snakes and all kinds of critters all up in here so I'm gonna be watching my step very carefully right here I appear to have found some sort of dumping site Bottle, bottle, bottle up there, tire, bottles down there. I see a bottle right there that's got like a cork top on it, right there. I don't feel any words on it. Wait, yeah, there is something on the side. Oh, it's just a measuring thing. That's pretty cool right there. There is a ton right here in the water too. There's a bad glare, so you can't really see it well, but I see so many bottles. Um, I actually don't have gloves today, so I'm going to be very careful. But I'm going to start pulling some of this stuff out and see if any of it's super cool. So there didn't seem to be much of anything very old at this dump spot. Other than this, probably the oldest one, and I don't think it's super old still. Not entirely sure, though. It's still pretty cool. Um, but there's a lot of this stuff right here, and a lot of it doesn't seem very old. And there's just so much stuff. I can see trash all the way up there, actually on the bank as well. And uh, to be honest, it's actually kind of upsetting and sad to see this right here because it's a beautiful river and, you know, somebody at some point dumped a ton, and I mean a ton of trash right here, and that's really upsetting. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take all this with me. I'm alone today. I don't have a canoe or anything. I only have so much room in my backpack as well, so uh, I'm going to have to leave a lot of this right here, but I'll definitely be taking what I can. Still walking along. I have walked pretty far from my access point, but it is absolutely 
beautiful out here and we're finding some pretty cool stuff so we are gonna keep going yeah sometimes you just gotta risk a slipping and falling for the treasure and uh don't judge this because these are my dad's old tennis shoes and I didn't have anything uh, that I could wear in my car so he let me use these and not gonna lie that's pretty goofy looking the banks of this river are just incredibly beautiful look at this giant cypress tree growing up there and its roots are just going absolutely crazy right here this is so gorgeous so I know today's mainly a bottle and relic and stuff kind of day but oh my goodness there's a ton of gravel right here so I'm gonna take a look and find a few pieces of petrified wood right here I'm pretty sure I see three pieces of petrified wood right here I think that's one yep sure enough it is I think this little guy is one right here oh not a little guy big piece Nice, and then right there. Oh yeah, much petrified wood, and that sound, who's <laughs> so good. Awesome, I'm gonna throw that in the bag. A few things that I really like about this type of hunting is the beautiful scenery, the chance to find some really cool old stuff, and also we're cleaning up the river while we're at it. I'm really enjoying myself, so if you guys are enjoying this video, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. So I'm taking a break now, just sitting on the bank of the river. It is absolutely beautiful out here. I am immersing myself in the nature of this place. It is incredible, and I love having the opportunity to be able to bring y'all along with me for the ride as well. So even if we don't find anything insane today, it's gonna be an amazing, amazing day, no matter what. And now up I go, because I want to find more stuff. Let's go. All right, I have turned around. I walked that side of the river on the way down and now I'm walking this side on the way up and there's a little creek up this way that I'm really interested in going to check out as well. So let's go find it. More signs of people there. Just found an old piece of plate. Pretty cool, old blue stuff. Not exactly sure on the age of that, but definitely older stuff. All right, we made it to the creek, y'all. I'm super excited to walk up here and give it some exploration. I actually found a very cool late 1800s bottle in this creek one time, long time ago before I started doing YouTube. So we're gonna go home real quick and show you guys right now. Okay, at the apartment, and this is the bottle I was telling you all about that I found in this creek a few years ago before starting YouTube. It says, Miss Winslow's Soothing Syrup, Curtis and Perkins, proprietors and this is a bottle from the late 1800s it was actually a teething medicine for babies with the main ingredients of morphine and alcohol which is insane you can imagine that's not not too good of a combination to be giving to babies so, so they uh, stopped the production of this in the early 1900s but I thought that was a really cool bottle to find with a cool story to tell so definitely wanted to make sure I showed this in the video as well since I found it in this creek and uh, hope to find more stuff like this here in the future for sure Look at this right here. That's actually a pretty cool little bottle. Not sure what it would have been from, but it seems like an older one, not a twist top. Really, really cool. Eh. Well, there it is, the rain. Figured it was gonna be coming at some point today. Probably gonna have to put the camera up here for a minute, but if I find anything cool, I'll show you guys when this rain commences. Oh gosh, there it goes, coming down harder. Dang it. I'm taking shelter under a log now, and it's coming down dang it man it's putting a halt on my hunting i don't like that but it's gonna wait it out it shouldn't last too long hopefully the rain is still coming down a little bit it's lasting a little bit longer than i expected but i had to pull the camera out because i see a blue bottle right there some sort of blue glass i'm excited to see what it is oh it's got text on it what milk of magnesia the chash what? The Chash Phillips Chemical Co. Clendrook, Clenbr oh, Clenbrook, Connecticut. Are you kidding me? That's really cool. What? Now that is an awesome bottle. I'm super, super stoked with that. Look at that thing. That is incredibly cool. Nice. I'm in a good little spot right here. A lot of gravel. A lot of places for things to get caught up. Let's keep looking around. Well... This right here does not look like it's going to be fun to get around, but I'm going to have to find my way around it because the creek continues that way, and I ain't stopping now. Whatever you do, do not do this at home, guys. Do not do this at home. This is not safe. This is snaky. It is dangerous. <laughs> 
All right, made it to the other side of the creek. I am happy now. Ugh, spider web. I'll continue to look for bottles. Oh, there's the top to what would have been a cool bottle, but just the top of it, unfortunately. All right. I am in some major, major gravel. I see little pieces of stuff everywhere. Yeah, there's a little piece of plate, glass, a little strange jar. Pretty cool. We are like on a really interesting spot. I actually hear the road right up there. So we're right where people were dumping a lot of stuff. And that's an old road. So they're probably dumping stuff for a long time. Look at that. More pieces of plate and stuff. Cool. Right there. That's pretty cool stuff. That is like old, old stuff, I think. Little house on it. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's really cool. I like stuff like that. That's really cool to see. Probably more here, hopefully. Oh, yes. How excited I am to find an old television in the creek. I've never seen elephant ears that big. That is incredible. They are huge. Holy crap. I'm walking back, but I think I'm about to get rained on again. I gotta hurry up and get back to the car. So here's everything from today's treasure hunt all laid out. Starting up here, got some cool pieces of petrified wood. So got some fossil hunting in today as well, which was definitely awesome. A little bottle there, little pieces of plate and stuff. I thought this one was really cool with the little images on there. That's pretty old stuff, I believe. Very happy with that. And then down here to some of the bottles, this thing right here is pretty strange. Not exactly sure what that was, but it's a pretty cool bottle. And this right here is Barclays bourbon right there. That's really cool from around the 1960s, I believe, is what I looked up on that. And then this right here I actually found out was an early 1900s mayonnaise jar, which is pretty awesome. It says Gel Fans or Gel Fans Baltimore. Really, really cool find there. And this green bottle over here is pretty dang cool. It says water on this side. Earlier in the video, I thought it said UICF for some reason, but there's actually a J up there, and that's an E, so it says juice. So this is for water and juice, and I, I looked this one up, and it looked like this is from the 1960s, so that was pretty cool. And then my favorite find of today was right here, this Milk of Magnesia bottle, the Chas H. Phillips Chemical Company in Glenbrook, Connecticut. I thought that was a really, really cool find, and I love the blue glass. It's just an absolutely beautiful color. And this is from the early 1900s, and I think around 1906 I saw some of these. So that's pretty dang awesome. I was very happy with today's stuff. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. This is actually pretty new to me. I haven't done a lot of bottle hunting, but I'm really, really interested in doing more of it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.